focus then from the banking space to the telecom space. We're currently joined by Mr. Sanjay Kapoor, the former chairman Micromax, who joins us to discuss the outlook for the telecom sector in 2017 and also his views on that crucial data pricing war which is going on in the space. Hi, Mr. Kapoor, thanks so much, uh, sir, for waiting by and uh, joining us uh, today as well. Uh, First things first, I wanted your take. You know, Bharti, they have upped the ante. They're looking to counter Relgio's offer. They've increased the timeline as well uh, to uh, December 31st. Uh, your take on, uh, on uh, this particular move? Well, I think uh, uh, for us to get uh, really diluted in individual price plans is not worth our while. I think what we need to really debate is the fact that there are some structural changes that have happened uh, in the industry, and that will continue uh, in 17, 18, maybe 19 uh, as well. First and foremost, I think in the minds of Indian consumers, uh, the charging for voice seems to be almost dead. Uh, while there's nothing free, but I think voice in India will come in forms of bundles where a direct price per minute will not be known, and most of the consumers would expect that voice will be given rolled into that bundle price to them, which is almost free as far as the consumer mindset is concerned. Then comes the data. Very clearly, it seems that more and more of data as we move towards video like rest of the world, uh, today about 55% of world's data traffic in GBs and uh, TBs is in form of uh, uh, video, which will become 75% in the next three, four years. And India is not going to stay much behind that. Now, if that is true, then the whole data bundling uh, across uh, operators will see more and more data bundled uh, with, for lesser price. And therefore, very categorically, I think the days of a higher uh, rate per minute, a higher rate per GB are over. And the, and the days for ARPU consideration as opposed to rate per minute or rate per GB uh, it will be in vogue uh, in, in the coming period. Obviously, the difference compared to the last entry of 8-9 operators in 2011-2012 this time is because of data, the disruption is going to happen amongst the top echelons of the consumer markets, which is the data users. The 300 million data users are the ones where really the war will happen. And that is a very, very dangerous uh, domain because uh, that's where most of the profits of telcos come. That's where bulk of the high uh, ARPU users of the, of the, of the uh, incumbent operators lie. And I think that's where the maximum jostling will happen. And uh, uh, let's see what comes out of it. I hope uh, it does not turn out to be a disaster for the industry where they continue to lose. And uh, there is a big deficit on both uh, their volume growth uh, in terms of revenues and also their profitability. So uh, it seems to be real for now that this is going to happen because there's a challenger who's coming in uh, with a large network, huge investments. And I think all operators, as we said earlier, are there to protect their turf, and they don't want to let go uh, their big consumers to the other side. And therefore, my own take is that they will do whatever it takes to hold on to their priced customers. Yes, rules of the game have changed from being a realization-led model. We are now moving to a ARPU or bundled offering kind of model. Um, you know, good afternoon, Mr. Kapoor, and Happy New Year to you. And thank you so much for joining us at the start of 2017 with your uh, outlook. Um, you know, all this spells good news for consumers, but what about for the financials of the telecom companies? How worried would be? How worried should we be? Um. Happy New Year to you as well. Um, I think very clearly um, we are heading towards uh, an era where consolidation is written all over. Uh, I don't think in a market uh, as big as India also, there will be more than four odd players who will be able to battle out this whole data transition because you need real deep pockets uh, to play through this game. Uh, the longevity of technology is shrinking. What was good for 20 years when it was 2G is probably shrinking in terms of 3G to 10 years or 8 years, and it's going to be even shorter for 4G going forward to 5G. So you have to recover your investments in a shorter period in time, and you really need deep pockets to play this game. And I don't see that more than four players in the market will really have those sort of deep pockets to battle it out. But even out of those four players, not more than two are going to make money. So if that is true, very categorically, we are seeing consolidation uh, happening in the market. And when consolidation happens, uh, uh, in, in, in the short run, especially when there's a challenger in the market, we are going to see some dips in top line because voice, 
which is the mainstay of revenues for bulk of the incumbent operators is being challenged and therefore it's being rolled into bundles and therefore we will see although the ARPUs might remain uh, but uh, the, the um, revenues could be depressed and definitely profits could be depressed uh, at least for the next year or so. Uh, I hope this, does, this is not uh, sustained because it is very important for a great consumer experience and also for the competitiveness of the nation that our digital highways perform as good as rest of the world. And that can only happen when the operators who are serving us are viable and can invest into the latest technologies and backhauls and provide us an experience that is none to anybody, uh, that's not second to anybody else in the world. And that can only happen if they are profitable and sustainable. So I, I hope this uh, war does not sustain itself for uh, more than a year or a year and a half. And then we really see consolidation bringing a lot of semblance in the market where we have a profitable industry which can invest into great consumer experience and make the nation competitive uh, with the rest of the world. Nigel, we already have five big players, Bharti, Vodafone, Idea, uh, the three-way merger between Reliance Communication because it took on SL and Sistema and not to forget Geo. So from five, uh, you know, already the big ones, someone's probably, uh, you know, got to go. But, um, you know, Mr. Kapoor, uh, now, you, you know, you're not associated with any company. So tell us who the top four players will be, according to you, uh, in this battle. And give us the top trends for 2017. One you said is we're going to see m &A. Secondly, more of bundled offerings. Thirdly, profitability uh, of these telecom companies is going to be hit in 2017. Anything more that you'd like to highlight in terms of the top trends for 2017? Yeah, I think uh, um, another one that probably you skipped out was that uh, uh, video uh, is going to determine uh, the consumer experience because bulk of the data traffic and data consumption uh, will be in form of video. Uh, so all users of data today will start con converting a lot of content to video is something that we will see. Another one that I personally feel uh, very strongly about is, I think uh, we are not going to see 3G as a technology uh, last too long uh, in the market because uh, India is a nation where a very large number of customers use 2G today. and uh, there's only one pan-India operator on 3G, which is Bharti Airtel. Rest of them uh, don't have a pan-India footprint. And the new challenger has gone in for 4G, uh, forcing everybody else to look at 4G as a technology. This happened in China as well uh, when it came to China Unicorn versus China Mobile. China Mobile came in with 4G, and 4G has become virtually the standard where so much of traffic is now on 4G. So my own take is that 3G will be dead. Um, in the coming years and it doesn't have a very long life because India will be uh, a 4G play market uh, when it comes to data. So I think that's the other trend uh, that will happen. I think another trend that you should see is that I think consumers at the high end uh, will see a lot of data and a lot of voice being bundled to them at very affordable prices, uh, which is not necessarily a segment which is looking at big discounts. But because of uh, uh, the, the war in the marketplace and everybody wanting those priced customers, I think uh, they will benefit a lot. I think more than the people at the bottom end, I think it's the people at the top end who are going to get a lot of goodies from these operators because everybody wants them on their side because this is about data. This is not about voice. Okay. And the top four players who will be booted out? Well, it's very difficult to... <laughs> It's very difficult to predict, uh, but I can I can clearly see that um, uh, you know Airtel, Voda, uh, Geo uh, definitely have uh, the deep pockets that are required uh, and are well capitalized uh, to take this play and compete for a longer period than anybody else in the marketplace. Uh, who will be the fourth one is anybody's <laughs> guess. But I think these three clearly stand out compared to others. Well, we had arrived with, at those three ourselves. We wanted you to fill us in on the fourth one. But pleasure having you, um, Mr. Kapoor, on the show. Thanks again.